I'm Lori Hutchison, Executive Director of the Lobular Breast Cancer Alliance. On this Thanksgiving, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone connected to LBCA, our staff, our volunteers, our scientific advisors, all of our subscribers, our international collaborators, and everyone advocating everywhere for more research for lobular breast cancer. I also wanted to share some exciting statistics about LBCA as we journey towards our vision of a world in which lobular breast cancer is found early, treated effectively, and eradicated permanently. I am proud to say that visits to our website have grown exponentially. In October alone, there were 7,600 user sessions, including many visitors from around the world. Our newsletter is now reaching 3,300 subscribers, an increase of 500 subscribers just since the summer. We currently have 1,100 Twitter followers and 1,750 on Facebook and have recently launched LinkedIn and YouTube accounts. We have two staff and have added 10 new volunteers to our volunteer workforce and committee work for which I am very grateful. We had some wonderful gifts come in since Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October and are gearing up for our year-end fundraising appeal. And it is beginning to look more likely that in 2021, we will be able to begin to fund ILC research directly. Information about donating is on our webpage at www.lobularbca.wedid.it. Thank you all so much. You'll now hear from some of our scientific advisors with their special messages. Have a very happy Thanksgiving and please don't forget LBCA on Giving Tuesday. I'd like to say thank you to the LBCA advocates and, and volunteers that are uh, really raising awareness of lobular breast cancer among uh, the community as well as physicians um, and uh, helping to bring about uh, changes that really benefit uh, all patients with this disease. My name is Otto Metzger. I'm a medical oncologist in Boston. And I just want to say a big thank you to the Lobular Breast Cancer Alliance, to all the volunteers and patient advocates that have brought this organization into the forefront of the field and have provided patients with very precise information about the diagnosis of lobular carcinoma and increased awareness and motivated us to continue to do research in the field. Thank you so much.